Hey everybody, welcome back to a Monday Morning Shave with Barbara Dave. How's everything going? I hope you're doing well. It's so dark 30, today is Doctor Day. We're both my A1C like I mentioned yesterday, and also some follow-up and continuing care for the accident that I was in. So, anyhow, um, today's going to be an actual DE shave, but it's going to be a DE shave that I haven't used in a long time. And it is a Otto Roth Incorporated new long comb. Same thing as the Gillette long comb. In fact, Gillette bought Otto Roth uh, back in history. You know, I got to thinking after the fun that I had with the video yesterday, you know, to mess around with different things and so forth. And you know, when, when I was a kid, and I'm sure some people can um, relate to it, and usually on Saturdays or Sundays, usually Sundays, because Sundays was the big the big newspaper and I remember watching my dad my mom you know trading pieces of the paper my dad would have the sports for a while and then he'd put that down and go to the business section and hand my mom the lifestyle section and I always got handed the comics or what we like to call the funny papers and you know of course you had Beetle Bailey and Hager the Horrible and uh, Doonesbury and the Wizard of Id, and of course, Peanuts. Peanuts was always the one on top. So I think that's where I probably started liking Snoopy so much and stuff like that. And I always wondered what it would be like to actually be in be in a comic or shave in a comic. So let's see. Wow, this is kind of cool. Don't know how it's going to translate, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the brush we're using today is the Sorrentino Pillars of Creation. And the soap we're using today is fast becoming a favorite, and that's Aaron Aromatics. And this one is the Matchery. And uh, just a wonderful soap. And this one is Rock Rose, Sea Salt. Uh, just a really neat, neat flavor profile. And the uh, the LC has got a brand new Wizomet blade. And like I said, I haven't used this razor in years. So we'll see what happens. For years, the, the new LC was arguably the best and you know, most user-friendly open comb. And you've got, you've got two camps. You had the short comb camp, and then you had the long comb camp. And uh, it just depended on which one you liked better. S extremely smooth razor. And uh, fun to use. I haven't had it re recoated yet. You know, obviously it's tarnished and everything else, and it's got some good patina. Not sure if I will. I mean, I, I know I could get it replated, but not sure if I want to. But real smooth, easy to use. And of the, of the open combs I have, it's probably the most mild. Well, I don't know if I would say mild or truly efficient. Um, because the Tridari, the Blackland Tridari takes it up a notch as far as aggression. And then um, the Aristocrat, uh, my 15, uh, that's probably the most aggressive as far as open combs I've got. In fact, the 15 can actually probably be, in some circles, be classified as a little bit harsh. And it can be. Uh, it's more angle dependent. Where the Tridari just uses its weight and the new is so light, but it's just efficient. I don't know why I've not used it more. I've got, oh, 10 DE razors out, and then I've got another 30 or 40 in a box that I don't use very often. Because like I said, I only use DEs really normally three to four days a week, and I'm using straights the rest of the time, and that's only because of the work week. I 
And now that I've gotten the Essence razor, uh, I have a tendency to use that during the week as well. So a lot of my older Gillettes just sit. But I thought this morning, why not? I forgot how fun and easy this razor is to use. When I first started getting back into DE shaving, in fact, even before straights, um, the monkey. John Tabor gifted this razor to me because I'd never, at that point, I'd never tried a long comb. And I used this for months. And then after that, I bought my first stainless steel DE, which was the Weber. And then from there, well, like all the rabbit holes, it went from there. And then I got into straights, and that was all she wrote. But I really haven't bought a DE other than the Tradier and the uh, Blackbird. I mean, I did have a, uh, what I call the Moose Lips, uh, the Orin. And also I have a tendency to pull the Vector out a lot because it's just quick and easy or the feather dx um you know great quick shave today um just a little bit of cleanup as always but if you haven't gotten yourself a new uh gillette new or an auto roth new long comb uh buy one you can pick these up all over the place fairly inexpensively That was with a brand new wisdom head blade, so we'll see how what the Allen says. Yeah, a little bit of sting, but that usually happens with the first time usage of that blade. <coughs> Excuse me. But other than that, really nice. And we'll be using Thayer's Lemon today. Come on, Thayer, you got to help us out. Been promoting you guys for quite a while now. Show us some love. Okay, while we're letting that dry down, we'll go over what we used again today. Once again, we use the Aaron Aromatics um, Matchery in this huge uh, rock type bowl. Uh, the brush we used today, once again, was Sorrentino Pillars of Creation uh, with a synthetic tuxedo. The Otto Roth new long comb with a Wisimet blade. And then, of course, for the aftershave and the EDT, we'll be using Matchery in the aftershave balm. And then... Uh, Match in the EDT. Don't need a lot of this stuff. Just about that much. And I think I've said that before. It absorbs really quickly into the skin.
just really, really nice. We're going to forego the talc today because we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I just don't feel like doing it. And then, of course, like I said, the EDT. And that's it. Ready for a early Monday morning. Well, folks, thanks again for joining us for Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. We appreciate just a quick DE shave today in the comic realm. I hope you enjoyed it just like you did the other one. Don't forget to check out my buddies up here, Nurse Dave and uh, Major Rich, uh, for all their content. Uh, we kind of try to help each other out. And then if you like what you see, please subscribe right down here at the Barber Pole with Cowboy Hat. And if you'd like to get notifications, make sure you like it and ring the bell, and you'll be notified anytime uh, we have a new content video come out. Please come and join us at www.theshavingcadre.com. We feel we're the best shaving forum on the interwebs. Once again, have a wonderful Monday and we'll see you again real soon. Take care.